My name is Tyler Cohen. I own a restaurant in Martinsville called The Caesar Mill. Uh, we've been open since November 2017 and so far things have been pretty good here. Basically this, this was my first restaurant build. I've done construction on some restaurants but to take on the whole project, kind of jumping through hoops with the city, seeing what we could and couldn't do, dealing with landlords, building materials, uh, stuff like that. Just what, what we could and couldn't do uh, while still achieving the look we were going for. We were going for for more of a rustic, uh, kind of just n nothing really perfect, uh, beaten up, old looking. Um, I think a, a little trendy, um, kind of newer style, but but still old looking. And uh, I did a lot of the construction here, so the less things needed to be absolutely perfect, the better, because I'm expert at nothing, but. <laughs> Um, so we have the bar made out of shipping container material and the entire backsplash behind me. Uh, the back wall there with all the liquor bottles is, is container material and the washroom stall in the men's room is shipping container material as well. And again, that just being in the industry, I've fixed so many bathroom stalls that thing's not going anywhere. Back in my my construction days, my, my brother always used to say that he was gonna put his kids through college at fixing washroom stalls in bars because the doors are always falling off, they're not locked. And so we wanted to build something that, again, would be durable and, you know, guys can kick it, whatever. Never gets too rowdy in here, but never gonna have any issues over there. I had ideas of what, what I wanted to use for, for container material, the corrugations, and I just talk, talked with Channing and the container guy, and he gets a little more creative than I do because he's, he's around that stuff all day. So he said, well, like, what if I put like an actual door on the bar that opens up, you know, or what if we do the, the washroom where it's actually the, the container latch that closes the door? Um, and he did a lot of the, the design and making things work, and there wasn't, months and months of planning involved. It was kind of just like, hey, can you build a bar like this? He's like, yeah, well, what do you want me to do with the rest of it? I don't know, can you hang it off the wall behind the bar? <laughs> and it all just kind of worked, like even down to the word Martinsville fitting perfectly on the corrugations. That was an afterthought. It, I didn't go to Channing and say, I need this many corrugations. I'm putting Martinsville above it. it yeah, we can do it. <laughs> The original plan was to buy a shipping container and, and use it as storage while we were doing the majority of the renovation and, and then towards the end, just cut it up and turn it into a bar. Uh, we ended up just just renting a container and then using old old uh, sea can material that uh, Channing had laying around as opposed to cutting up a brand new container. <laughs> it's durable. Uh, for sure, and, and it does have that rustic kind of industrial look that goes well with the other building. Um, just through being in an industry, you know, like bars are constantly getting liquor and pop and all kinds of stuff spilled all over the place. Uh, in the past ones I've built out of wood or plywood, um, they have a shelf life. I'll probably have to take this bar out when when our lease is up, it's not gonna be replaced before then. He built the, the actual bar, the L shape of the bar. Um, and we, we kind of knew what we wanted based off the space we had. And after that, we used uh, poured concrete and live edge for the bar top itself, as well as the tables in front of us that we poured in here and just had a bunch of guys flip them over <laughs> onto the bar. It was. One of those things that just came together at like 11 p.m. one day. <laughs> when you get somebody that's never been here before, they kind of take a little bit of a, a look around and you can always tell when it's someone's, someone's first time in here because they run back to the table from the bathroom and they're trying to convince their wives or girlfriends, you gotta go look at the bathroom in there. And <laughs> it's, it's one of those bathrooms that's like, oh, can I? Can I go look? It's, it's a cool space and 
definitely people go in just to check it out, right? How many times would someone go into the men's bathroom and just to see what it looks like? <laughs> For a lot of places, kind of the washrooms are an afterthought compared to the, the rest of the dining space. We wanted it to fit in with everything and it's definitely, you go in there and it it's, fits the theme. We've had someone actually just come in and straight up copy the design. Like I want, I want my space to look like this. What did you do? How did you go about doing it? Um, and I just put him in contact with Channing and the container guys that he did everything. So rotation, highest form of flattery. We are hoping to expand our dining space into an outdoor patio. Um, I've seen some of the stuff Channing's done with uh, full containers, turning them into kind of ice cream shacks or outdoor bars. So the plan is to have some corrugations out front on the side of the building over there, as well as a kind of a container dining space uh, with fold down windows. And again, the roll top doors and just kind of expand, expand to the great outdoors. There's not a lot for patios out here in Martinsville. So just to kind of have that extra element that people may have been missing out here would be really good for us. I think for the most part, the city was pretty happy to have something like this come, come to Martinsville. Um, not being a, a chain restaurant, locally owned, uh, kid friendly, but still kind of that, that bar pub, pub feel to it. Uh, we're pretty unique in Martinsville. Uh, fresh food, a lot of stuff is, uh, is prepped in house here. Uh, there's probably only a few things on our menu that, that come in as, as the end product. Everything else is made in house. Uh, and we're locally owned. We're not a, a franchise. We kind of have our, our freedom to change our menu and, and cater to what people are wanting and looking for. Oh, Caesar. Right, we're, we're the Caesar Mill, uh, Canada's national cocktail. Uh, we sell a lot, a lot of Caesars. Uh, I always kind of make the joke if we were sitting around the table at the lake and my grandma asked me to make her a Caesar, I'd tell her no because I've made so many Caesars. I'm just sick of it. We open at 10 a.m. Uh, for brunch Saturday and Sunday. 11 a.m. Monday to Friday and we're open till 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Right now we're closing at 8 p.m. on Sundays but as kind of the workforce comes back we hope to go back to our regular hours of 11 p.m. and 12 on the weekends.